Why have you called me here? You know it's not safe to meet so openly. Miss me. Well, I miss you too, every single day. But you know it's dangerous. I came as fast as my legs would carry me because I thought you were in trouble. Our kingdoms have been at war a long time. I feared you might have gotten caught in a crossfire. My love, please don't scare me like that again. I wouldn't know what to do if something were to happen to you. While the rest of them fight for the kingdom, I fight for you, my queen. <laughs> you are my queen. I mean, in a week you'll be officially, but you've been my queen since we met. And, <laughs> yes, I will still love you, even if you have to bark orders at me. I wouldn't mind, honestly. That would actually be really hot, come to think of it. You don't have to give me any special treatment. I can take it. So come on, tell me what's up. Well, I know you wouldn't have called on me if this wasn't super important, so go ahead, tell me. You wanna tell your parents what? About us? I wanna ask permission. Love, I don't know if that's a good idea. There are people in this castle that would jump at any opportunity to have my head on a stake. Just because I'm an orc. And you're an elf. They see me as a threat. I could profess my undying love for you at the feet of the throne, but... They won't accept me. They'll think it's another tactic of war. Even though I'm not like that, but how would they know? They don't know me. Trust you. My love, I do trust you. But how can you be so sure? You sound as if you've been planning this for a while. Is there anyone else that knows? You told your mother. And she kept it a secret for us well what about your father that's why you've called me here so that we can present ourselves to him and ask for permission to marry which would then unite the kingdoms right that sounds like a dream come true Finally a break from all the war, all the planning, and all the battles, and all the blood. I'll finally get to wake up with you in my bed. And I won't have to sneak away. We won't have to keep our love a secret. Everyone will know. Hopefully they will respect us. But I have this nagging feeling that not everyone will be as accepting. There are some orcs that are bred to hate elves, and vice versa. And what if my family doesn't approve of this? My father is the leader of the orcs. He runs the territory. The last time I spoke to him, he was so dead set on taking over and claiming your kingdom, not joining them. Well, no, I don't normally care what he thinks, but if I marry you under an elven roof without his knowledge, I could possibly be considered a traitor. If he casts me out, and throws me away. 
I will no longer be a part of the orc clan. Which means our little plan of peace would be null and void. We would most certainly need his permission first. I should go and ice things over. Yes, after I see your family, of course. I trust that you would not let anything happen to me as I would protect you with my life, my love. Mr. and Mrs. Your Majesty. I mean your kingdom no harm, my king. I have come to speak to you about something very important that does not involve war. On behalf of our beloved princess and our future queen, I, as crazy as this sounds, I love her and I wish to ask her hand in marriage. I know I am of orc blood, my king, but I wish no ill will. In fact, we have been together for quite some time. We actually met as children many years ago. After that day, I started seeing her all around the kingdom. Granted, I wasn't supposed to be here. My father had specifically told me never to come, but I wanted friends. I wanted nice friends. So, when my father was busy, I would always sneak back in. We did everything together. We took archery classes together, everything. No one really seemed to notice me until I got older. I started to look different. My teeth grew sharper. My physique wasn't the same as everyone else's and my skin grew darker, if only a little. Most orcs are green, but my mother was not of orc blood, so I'm mixed. As a child, I could actually get away with it. I would always file my teeth and dress like everyone else, and since our skin was the same color, it didn't really matter. But as we grow, our bones get harder, and that also includes our teeth, so... The filing was no longer working. So I had to disappear. But I wasn't gonna just willingly walk out of her life and leave her behind. From the beginning, I always knew I loved her, which is why we're here today. We'd like to make it official. No more hiding, no more secrets, and most important, Peace. Our union would join our kingdoms together. Yes, my father is the leader of the Orc clan. He's not exactly someone I'm fond of, but nevertheless, I wish to seek his permission after we're done here. If I would continue on without his knowledge, then there would be no peace. And this conversation would be pointless. You approve? That's amazing. I thought for sure you'd have my head on a stake by now. I have to also prove myself in battle. That shouldn't be a problem. I also sat in on your war training classes. Yeah, sorry about that. Though it's been a pleasure speaking to both of you, I must now continue on so that I may fill my father in and ask for his blessing. The only good thing we can do now 
is hope. My love, I do not see it fit for you to come along with me. It's dangerous in there. You should stay home where you're protected. I will protect you, but there are better ways of protecting you. If you insist, just stay close, okay? Don't go wandering off. This isn't a tour. We're going straight to the throne room, and then, if you agree, we have to go back to your kingdom and figure out where this wedding is going to happen. My mother. Uh, well, she she's not around. She died. And my father doesn't like to talk about it, so I'm not even sure how, but thankfully it doesn't bother me too much. Even though my dad was busy a lot of the time, he was still there, which makes a large difference. We should go in now. I think his meeting has just finished. Father, I have returned. And I have relatively good news. Yes, she is the future queen of the Elven Kingdom. But Father, please, I beg you, listen. This is very important. I would not have risked bringing her here otherwise. No, this isn't a kidnapping. We have something very important to ask you. We've just returned from her kingdom. We spoke to her parents. And I would have come to you first, but I didn't learn of it until I was already there. We, we want to ask if it's okay. We, uh, forgive me. We need your permission to, how did you know? Did a mole beat us here? My mother. She was an elf. That can't be. Father, you said you hated elves. But you married one. You had a child with one. The reason you hate elves is because they killed her when they found out she loved you. Why well, was I never told of this? You didn't want to ruin my chances of finding true love or even friendship. You didn't want to tarnish my views on any race. So then that means I get my love for her from you. I have a million questions right now. Why would an elf kill their own kind? It was just a different time. You were so young. Younger than the legal limit of fathering children and marrying. But does that really require death, father? There must have been some laws back in the day when you were a child. There weren't many. So then, why were you going so hard trying to conquer their kingdom? What's all this war for? New order. You just wanted to bring new laws. You wanted things to be fair and to protect people. And you were willing to spill blood to get it. It was my mother's last wish to bring peace. I don't know what to say. I felt like I knew everything there is to know about my family and about the war, but I guess not. Where do we go from here, Father? A grand wedding. 
That would be lovely. Do you think it would be anything like you and Mother's wedding? No? Oh. You were kids, and it was far from a grand wedding. Well, I guess I should have figured that. I don't know. I just always had this theme in my head of some giant, grand, fancy wedding and how Mother was so majestic in her, her wedding dress. But I guess you guys never got the chance to redo it. I know. I know you don't like to talk about her. I'm sorry. We have to go now, Father. The King and Queen wish to speak to all of us. Together. We must plan how to move forward as one. For a better future.